U.S. Air Force contract for stand-in attack weapon, sea or missile. Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman and Lee Harris Technologies, said this week the service selected them for phase one of the stand-in attack weapon program. The three-month contracts, each for $2 million. The U.S. Air Force has awarded contracts to three companies for the first phase of a new program to develop an air-to-ground stand-in attack weapon that the F-35 jet could use to destroy enemy air defenses. The Air Force said this weapon would allow it to strike enemy targets that create an anti-access, area denial environment and can be rapidly moved. These potential targets include integrated air defense systems, ballistic missile launchers, land attack and anti-ship cruise missile launchers, GPS jammers, and anti-satellite systems. What is stand-in attack weapon? The stand-in weapon would have a shorter range than standoff weapons, which are designed to be fired from a distance outside the range of enemy defenses, an aircraft would fire this stand-in weapon after penetrating enemy airspace and getting closer to the target, Michael Stewart, Northrop's Director of Business Development, said in an interview. Stewart said the F-35 must carry the stand-in weapon within its bay, rather than on an external mount, to avoid compromising the jet's stealth capabilities. He said it is unlikely the F-22 would be able to carry this weapon because its internal bay isn't large enough. This first phase of the stand-in weapon program focuses on digital engineering and design. First time the Air Force has had a fully digital weapons acquisition and development program. Northrop said it will use its experiences from designing and producing the Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile Extended Range, for the U.S. Navy and integrating it on F-35s. Lockheed said its Missiles and Fire Control Division is using advanced, digital engineering methods, pioneered by its Skunk Works unit, to design the stand-in attack weapon. Lee Harris said in a release Wednesday that its Agile Development Group will lead its stand-in attack weapon efforts and will take advantage of the group's digital engineering capabilities. Lee Harris is looking forward to working with the Air Force and industry partners to go fast and deliver superior firepower and advanced capabilities to the warfighter, Dave Duggan, president of Lee Harris's Agile Development Group, said in the release. Stewart also said the Air Force wants this program to use an open system architecture concept that would allow it to plug and play different modular systems. That way, different components could be easily combined without needing a lengthy test and evaluation process, and the weapon could be more easily upgraded. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.